You've seen pictures like these during the pandemic. These pictures we have to show you today are from a high school in Maryland. Cars lined up for boxes of food. And in most cases, these are people who never dreamed they need to accept food from a kind stranger. We've also seen farmers struggling to sell their wares for lack of a supply chain to get their products to market. According to the New York Times, quote, not since the Great Depression has so much fresh food been destroyed. Our next guest says he has a solution to help that's already gotten bipartisan support in this country. For more, we welcome to our broadcast Chef Jose Andres, founder of the World Central Kitchen and both chef and owner of the Think Food Group. His organization just passed five million fresh meals served in 35 states and territories during this pandemic. And following natural disasters like Puerto Rico, allow me to say he is often up and running before FEMA and that's one place where he saved a lot of lives. Chef, it's a great pleasure having you on. Let's begin by having you explain your concept. Well, this is something we've been already doing for many weeks. The idea is simple. We have many restaurants that are closed. I come from the private sector and happens I founded this NGO. Why we don't put those men and women without jobs right now, those restaurants that are closed, to make sure that they are the ones that take care of the needs, one neighborhood at a time, one town, one city, one state at a time. Right now, World Central Kitchen, we have more than 600 restaurants that we partner with across 30 states to do something very simple, what they do best. Let's produce food, let's put men and women up and running and make sure that we take care of the elderly, of the hospitals, of uh, low-income families, homeless. One plate of food at a time is a very simple solution. That's what we've been doing. So part of what you're saying is, isn't it, that government would have to raise their hand and identify the need and just say they need it, and you have all these experienced uh, culinary men and women as a standing army ready to go. So Wilson Drug Kitchen has been doing this and we proof concept. So I'm very thrilled that the FIT Act that is being supported by Congressman Thompson, McGovern, but also uh, Congressman Davis. So this makes on the House side already bipartisan. And on top of that, we got Senator Kamala Harris and also Senator uh, Tim Scott. All of a sudden makes it bipartisan in the Senate. It's not beautiful that in this moment that seems uh, everybody is apart. Everybody comes together to put food at the center, making sure we recognize that we have a humanitarian crisis and where Congress comes with a solution that can be happening in every single state. Governor Newsom already is doing this in partnership with FEMA across the state to take care of the elderly. Let's make sure that we put the weight and the power of the federal government with very smart solutions using the private sector, the NGOs. It's a win-win for everybody. When you were a young man learning how to cook, did you ever dream that you would someday have okay. to learn as much about politics and the names and parties of all our lawmakers uh, to navigate your world because of how thick and how thoroughly politics has muddied our waters? Uh, 30 years ago, I came first time on as a sailor on the Spanish Navy. Um, 27 years ago, I arrived in Washington, D.C. Uh, I met uh, Senator Patrick Monaghan. He told me, if you love America, America will love you back. As an immigrant, the only thing I've been doing is putting my profession, my little know-how about feeding people at the service of everybody around me. So in Washington, I've been lucky. I've been meeting a lot of people around the years of both parties all great people, great Republicans, great Democrats, many of them, they want to work together. This is a great opportunity used to work together, to be bipartisan and bring a smart solution to feed Americans that right now they are in need. Every problem has a very simple solution. I'm very happy that this bill hopefully will make it and we can be celebrating a simple idea that is gonna be making a lot of people happy. People will eat 
and restaurants will go back to work. Farmers will keep producing again. A very smart solution if we can pull this through. Chef, no one is ever going to be able to say that you haven't uh, given way more to our country in return uh, than you've received from our country. The chef has agreed to stick around with us for just a few more minutes. We're going to go to a break. When we come back, we are going to ask this nice man to explain something we saw during quarantine in his kitchen. You love your freedom. That Chef Jose Andres, founder of the World Center.com. We are very fortunate that Chef Jose Andres, founder of the World Central Kitchen, has agreed to spend a few more minutes with us. Chef, because I follow you on social media, I saw what we're now going to share with our audience an example of what it's like at home with a world famous chef, especially if you're his two daughters. We'll talk about it on the other side. And she likes them like that too. Look at family life. Look at, look at. Number nine, we're about to finish. The omelet goes into play. Here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to put the ice cream. Oh, we finish. Stop this song. So, Chef, there's so much to talk about here. Uh, number one, cooking is an aerobic exercise for two. Number two, as the father of a daughter, I say affectionately, your daughters have you handled. They have your number. They know exactly what they're dealing with. Number three, for people without knowledge of international recipes and treats, tell the good people watching what ice cream is doing on eggs and why you are pouring whipped sugar over the whole top. I touch your foil. Oh my God. Um, listen, my mother was a nurse. My father was a nurse. Um, they used to make for me this dessert, which was a sugar omelet. And they will put sometimes whatever leftover ice cream on top of that omelet that happens is very sweet and is delicious and brings memories of home. And I think in moments like these, I wanted to share with my daughters and with anybody wanted to watch what was for me growing up. Even in times that we didn't have a lot of money at the end of the month, and my mother, my father will feed us with whatever was left. I've been doing recipes with all bread, with two eggs and old ice cream, recipes that everyday Americans can do at home, even in these moments that many families have to be in a saving mode because they are losing their jobs, etc. We're trying to make it fun. People need to be forgetting sometimes that we're going through kind of a very difficult times. And you know, in these moments, it's great to be celebrating family life, cooking together in the kitchen. Chef, it was one of the bright spots, one of the warm moments Chef. so far during quarantine. So in addition to thanking you for all the work you're doing for people you will never meet, Thank you for things like moments like that video and sharing it with the world. Chef Andres, thank you for coming on our broadcast. It was a great pleasure. Coming up for us, the kind of random act of kindness that can make such a big difference these days.